Hey everyone, this is Queenie Clem with Queenie's Book Talk and Reviews, and I am your literary ambassador. And today I have Melissa King on my channel today. Welcome, Melissa. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing good. Okay. Tell us about yourself. Um, well, my name is Melissa King, and uh, I am 25 years old. And I'm an author from Michigan. And um, I write poetry books. Okay. Would you like to talk about your books? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. The first one is Roses in a Hurricane. Oh. The second one is The H Name. The third one is The Dark Moon which will be coming out soon. Um, the Bleeding Heart and The Guarded Heart. So, Roses in a Hurricane speaks from a Rose's point of view. It can see a lot of stuff that a family does throughout the day. The Rose is great at observing. It gets lonely while the family goes on vacation. It feels loved for the first time when a neighbor comes to check on it. Mm -hmm. The H name is a collection of poems from one of my breakups. And here's a sneak peek at one of the poems. Today is easier than yesterday. As you've let me go, but it's not easy for me, and you don't know. You haven't picked up the phone to call me because you are being sucked in by generosity. You wanted me, but you walked away, and I still don't even know what to say. The Dark Moon um, will be coming out soon. It's still in the works. But it's going to be a collection of poems about my fight with borderline personality disorder and PTSD. The Bleeding Heart is also a collection of poems about a woman who struggles with mental illness and self-harm and brings herself through it with coping techniques. Mm -hmm. And here's one of the, snip the snippets. The pushing and pulling of a rattled heart within is only where it begins. These eyes are intense behind the smile. This heart is only bleeding for a while. Okay. And then The Guarded Heart. This book is a series of poems about how strong I've become from dealing with breakups and emotional abuse. Would you like to read some from there? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. What inspired you to write these books? Um, just like my uh, my teacher in high school. Um, kind of encouraged me to keep writing and going and um, I have a lot of friends that suffer with mental illness and I suffer through it myself um, I've, I've been in counseling since I was about 17 mm -hmm. and it's been a long hard road and um you know, I just want to tell anyone out there who's fighting mental illness or knows somebody that does that it will get better. What made you want to become an author? I wanted to become an author because I, I like helping people out and giving them advice. And I just enjoy writing a lot because it helps, like, it helps get stuff out. Okay. What did you learn when writing these books? Um, I've learned a lot um, about, like, you know, mental illness and what, you know, what happens. It, like, comes out in my writing. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And, uh, you know, I've also learned that I can be creative with some different books. Okay. What surprised you the most when writing? Um, when I'm writing, I don't really know what I come up with at first. And as I'm writing it, it just comes out. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does the titles mean? Um, let's see. Well, Roses in a Hurricane. Um, I, I kind of like described like a rose and uh, like how the leaves come out. Mm -hmm. um, the age name is, um, the meaning of it is the person who I broke up her, with, her name was Heather. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how I got that. And then the dark moon um, I just can't, the meaning of that is, like, you know, when you're depressed or upset or whatever, um, you have a dark side, and then uh, when you're positive and happy, you have a bright side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, the bleeding heart, the meaning of that one is just, like, you know, when you're struggling, you feel a lot of hurt and pain and, um, you know, that's kind of what I pictured as a bleeding heart. Um, and then the guarded heart is like keeping your heart on guard from all the hurt and the pain and, um, you know, whatever else bad that happens. What would you say your genre is? Um, I, I like poetry. Um, I write a lot of poetry. Um, and Roses in a Hurricane was kind of a fiction book mm -hmm. that I made up, so. Okay. What is your purpose in writing those books? Um, you know, just to let people know that they're not alone in this fight with mental illness and like people with disabilities too. What do you think, um, how, how do you feel about reviews, whether they're good or bad, book reviews? Um, I haven't got very many reviews, but um, you know, I I think they would be really good to, you know, and I haven't got many, so I, I hope that people will review it and leave good reviews. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what are you working on right now? Uh, right now I am working on the dark moon and I'm also working on beyond the waves and I'm going to be working on an autobiography, too. Okay. Are those two, um, Dark Moon and Beyond the, you say Beyond the? Beyond the Waves. Beyond the Waves. Are those poetry or memoirs? Um, well, Beyond the Waves is going to be a nonfiction book. Okay. And... Okay. The Dark Moon is going to be a collection of poems that I have written that kind of describe, you know, how how rough it has been with mental illness and having a disability and, you know, people making fun of people who are bullied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what What... How will readers benefit from reading these books? Um, I think a lot of people will get a lot out of them. Um, 
you know, maybe it might help them feel not so alone and, mm -hmm. um, you know, it'll give them a, you know, a, like a, a deeper, like if you're already a writer, it will give you like a, a deeper idea of poetry. Okay. Now, how can readers uh, get in touch with you and find your book? Um, I have my books on Amazon Kindle. They're they're all ebooks. I'm gonna be coming out with some paperbacks too. Um, you know, within this year and next year, and um, so they can find them on Amazon Kindle. There's a few on Amazon also. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you know, you could always call me. Um, I have a Facebook page and an Instagram. And what, what names are the Facebook and Instagram under? Um, the Instagram is, um, the username I use for it is DuckyJesus80. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, my name is on there, and my name is also on my Facebook. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to add before we close? Um, I just want to encourage people to, um, you know, check out the books and leave me some good reviews if you like it, and um, just spread the word, because I, I haven't got very much word out yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just beginning as of I I think the first book I came out with was last year last January mm -hmm. and um, I'm just looking for more people to buy my books and spread the word okay. thank you for coming in today I really appreciate it yep all right this is Queenie Clem with Queenie's book talk and reviews happy reading bye y'all Mm-hmm.